Local authorities face many challenges. Working hard to make an area a better place, delivering high quality services with less, is something everyone is facing up to. The way local people feel about an authority has always been important, but increasingly this will be the way councils are judged, recognised and rewarded. The degree of cohesion in a community affects how people feel about the place they live, the people who live there and the council. The performance of a council may be good or even excellent. Its performance in relation to other local authorities may also be high. But if cohesion is low, it's likely that local people won't hold such a positive view. If sections of a community perceive that things are unfair, this will block messages, the messages you want to convey to them. Emotion always trumps facts. For some, it could be said that the mute button is on. Even worse, powerful and pervasive negative stories can develop. Stories that create and reinforce myths and make the problem much, much worse. They put their own interests first. Councillors first, everybody second. It's a recession on. They get a pay rise. They sort out their own pensions. They do their offices out. Everybody else is pulling in, not the council. Plenty of English people in Boston that are homeless and, and they can't get houses up. because they go into the foreign workers or foreign people that come over here, they yeah. get everything. They get cars, they get accommodation, they get clothed, yeah. they get furnished. We don't. It's the antisocial people and there's one hell of a lot around, I'm telling you. Don't blame them 100%. So what can be done to tackle these poor perceptions? We have to understand what lies behind the opinions and emotions that people feel. Only then can we hope to bring communities back together. You don't achieve good community cohesion by issuing facts, hoping that they'll dispel myths. That's treating symptoms, not causes. If you want to make an impact that lasts, then you've got to address those underlying issues, those emotions and values that give rise to perceptions of unfairness. This is always our starting point, understanding how people feel, what they believe and the values they hold. We've developed some innovative techniques and we use some tried and tested ones too that will gain you accurate insight into how people feel, even the most disaffected. We get beyond the superficial to the underlying values and emotions that determine people's opinion and behaviour. We'll map the communication that's taking place in your neighbourhoods. We'll tell you who's doing the talking, what they're saying, who they're talking to and where they're doing it will tell you the story that's being told about you that some people may not dare to tell you themselves. This involves quickly and cost-effectively gaining the trust and enlisting the support of the people in the community who are having these conversations. Only once we really understand how people feel can we develop a congruent narrative. That's a narrative that will anchor and guide your communications. It has to be an emotionally intelligent framework one that will enable you to convey your messages in ways and using language that will resonate with your key audiences. You need to know what people are really saying about you in the community, what they, what they really think. We recruit local people from the community, the people who are already doing the talking to their friends and neighbours, the people who are already trusted. These community communicators can become your greatest assets. They'll let you know what's really going on and they can become a powerful, trusted source of communication to get your message across. Your staff are your public face. They represent your brand, they represent you to thousands of local people. Your reputation is in their hands when they're talking to the public. So what we're going to do first of all is help you to have those difficult conversations in a slightly easier fashion. We've trained thousands of frontline staff to relate better, to have the skills and confidence and motivation to communicate effectively with residents who might feel neglected or unheard. We have a toolkit of tried and tested community initiatives. Initiatives that will enable you, your officers and your members to connect with, to develop rapport with local people on their terms about issues they care about in places they feel comfortable. We specialise in engaging with disaffected people. People who often feel they're not valued and people who feel they're not communicated with in a way that they find appropriate or credible. It's vital to recognise that some people have strongly held values, beliefs, emotions that mean they don't respond well to traditional forms of communication. TCC has the skills and the experience 
to help you overcome that.